everyone, and welcome back to Two Minute Teas with TP. I'm Teresa Pan, and again, not doing tea this summer, so just cold tap water while I chat with you about the Toronto International Film Festival. So I want to share another special moment with you, and that is when I took my best friend to see First Position, a documentary about a ballet competition a few years back. Now, a bit about my best friend. She does not like dark movies. She doesn't like the dark stuff. It does not bring her joy. And again, the last thing I want to do is to take my best friend to something that she does not enjoy and that she would have rather spent that time, you know, washing her hair. So a good program for those of you who are squeamish about the dark, depressing stuff, or if you're taking someone who is not into that dark matter, I totally recommend the documentaries at TIFF. They're all very interesting, very engaging, they're very unique, and again, usually they are gentler um, on the senses. So for first position, again, it focuses on this very famous um, dance competition, and it's for kids, 9 to 19. And what was cool is that during the Q&A, we saw the director, we also saw some of the dancers that were portrayed in the documentary, including Miko Fogarty, who's actually a very famous ballerina now. She's won countless competitions, and so again, very world-renowned. And it was kind of cool that we got to see her shortly after that documentary was made, and she was still quite young and so charming and so graceful. And recently, I saw that movie with my kids, and it was cool to, again, share it with them because they're super young, but a documentary is safe and it was a very real look into a world that I'd never even really thought of before. So that's again what makes these experiences so meaningful to me. Um, but definitely consider the documentaries if you or some of your friends are squeamish about dark stuff because you will find something that speaks to you. And I do find for the documentaries, you do get a really good shot of getting a Q&A even if it's not the first screening. So I hope this helps and thank you for watching.